Conor McGregor tweeted out yesterday, I accept. And it took me a minute to figure out what the hell he was talking about, right? This is like the 19th time he's done it, but this one's supposed to be real, right? This one is supposed to be real. Now, it's we don't, supposed to be real. Now, th- just a few days ago, Dana White did go on CNN when he was talking about the Habib and Gaethje fight and all this kind of stuff and said, you know, I talked to McGregor, but we were talking about personal stuff and just life and family and da 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 and he is retired. So then Tony Ferguson comes out, and he's like, I need to get back in and get that belt. I need my shot at Habib or Gaethje again. I, he still never got to fight Habib. So he yeah. wants those shots. He said, but I will take a fight to show you that I am back. So I will go in and knock this thing out, and let's do it. Right? I'll, I will fight McGregor if you want me to fight McGregor. I will fight Dustin Poirier if you want me to fight him. Whatever you want me to do, let's do it. So he says all of that on Ariel Helwani's show. And then McGregor yesterday comes out with, I accept. And then you start hearing from some of these MMA reporters that, hey, they might be working to put this fight, this Ferguson-McGregor fight, on the same card as Habib and Gaethje. Now, if your goal is to socially distance, I don't think that you want McGregor and Habib to be anywhere near each other at, at the same time, right? Like, I, I think they got enough security where they can control that. I mean, you would think so. I think they do. I think they do. I, I think, one, it would be ridiculous because a Ferguson-McGregor pay-per-view card would be insanely high anyway. But... Vin said that stream would not be PG. No, no chance. Um, I think you're going to have big numbers for Habib and Gaethje, and I think you're going to have really big numbers for McGregor and Ferguson. So there's no yeah. reason to put them on the same card. Uh, I I think you separate those two out, and then we see what happens from there. But I would okay with that. love this fight. El Kukui and the Notorious. I mean, let's go. I'd rather see that. as a, I think that fight could do bigger numbers than Gaethje and Habib. Am I crazy for thinking that? No, no. Connor Connor will do bigger numbers than that. Yes. Because of Connor. Oh, 100%. He'll find a way to turn this into a spectacle, and Habib yes. and Gaethje are just not going to do that. Like, on top of that, uh, with with Habib, and really Gaethje has the, uh, the wrestling background as well, you've got the possibility of it turning into Usman and Masvidal. And... That was incredibly boring to watch. Uh, Matt Miller said, UFC 269, Lou Williams against Magic City Strippers. <laughs> uh, Damien said, y'all should do a play-by-play reaction stream. That would be cool. Talking about the Grizzlies. Uh, yeah, maybe once we get in the playoffs, we might have fun with that. So I just checked the line. The Grizz are plus three and a half. I'm about to, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now on my phone. Oh, there way. you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're underdogs. I'm getting, I'm getting that money in. <laughs> I love it. All right, let's talk uh, Major League Baseball right quick. Come on. 